didn't judge the car, we tried to take into account a number of elements, uh, that is the, the history of the car, the background, uh, the uniqueness, uh, the special feature, the brands, the owners, in some cases also the, the racing pedigree of the car. But most of all, since this uh, is and wants to be and wants to stay a concours d'élégance, uh, we try to judge the elegance of the car. And of course we have a judging sheet where a number of different items are listed. But at the end of the day, it's just a way to try to make uh, analytical a decision that is, um, that is a synthetic one. So at the end of the day, after we have seen all these elements, we try to judge by heart. And so it's uh, the car that impressed the most, the car that would get our vote. There are, there are many cars that uh, we can imagine uh, they are better than original, in, in particular the cars that have been uh, originally born for racing. In fact, the cars that were made for racing were not that much uh, looked after in terms of quality of surfacing, painting, uh, fitting of components and detailing. So they were made quickly uh, to race fast and so there was not much attention uh, to the making. Today we see cars that have been restored so perfectly that it look even better than uh, a road car and uh, for sure they look better than what they were looking in their heydays. And uh, just to give you a um, confirmation I can quote uh, Mr. Scaglietti that was the coach builder of the racing Ferrari that told me once uh, at the concours we never made the car so beautiful. We compare uh, cars that have been um, uh, restored with cars that have been restored. Uh, from time to time, we have the, the we are lucky enough to see cars that have not been restored, and in this case, we have a reminder of how the car were looking really in the past. <laughs>